Hello, everybody. How's everyone doing tonight? I'm doing really good. <laughs> because, okay, do you guys ever remember the feeling when you were, like, in school, whether it's high school, college, whatever, and uh, you got the assignment done right before uh, class, you know, like, an acceptable amount of the assignment? <laughs> Well, that's what I did with this slipper. And yes, I said slipper because there is one slipper. Didn't actually get the other one made. <laughs> so hi for everybody who is joining in right now, who is watching in the replay, who is here for the first time. We are making some super duper easy slippers tonight. It's not going to be an exact stitch count or anything like that. It's going to be um, basically you go by the size of your foot. You use whatever yarn you want. You use whatever uh, hook you want. And I will show you the basics on how to make it. So, <laughs> so we're going to, we're going to go from there. Um, hold on. I'm going to see who all is in the chat so far. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Christine. Hi, Miss Jamie. Hi, Sandy. Ooh, burnout velvet would be perfect, Christine. Alice, you go to bed, girl. You have a wonderful night's sleep. Here I am. Hi, Maribel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no homework. Hi, Patty. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Yarn Fairy. Happy Tuesday. Okay, so I am going to just start. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start out just telling you guys uh, what to start out with. Now, this is the slipper. These are the little slippers I made. They're like little. Um, it doesn't look that poofy. Here, I'll show you what it looks like on my foot. I made it out of that fleece yarn. And here's what it looks like on my foot. It's just a big fluffy slipper. If you guys can see that. <laughs> How weird, huh? But that's what it looks like. Super easy, super comfy, and super easy construction. Let me see. Hi, Marion. Hi, Shatika. Hi, Sonia. Hi, Sydney. Hi, Gracie. Hi, Annie. Hi, Patty. Hi, Lori. Hi, Carolyn. So if you guys have this kind of yarn, it's the Sherpa yarn, you can use it. What I'm going to use tonight while I'm showing you is this yarn. It's just some, I love this chunky. And what I was telling everybody in the chat earlier was that I'm just going to use the size recommended right there on the label. So grab whatever kind of yarn you want. I recommend a chunky or a bulky yarn. And then just use the size hook that is on the thing here. Like <sighs> I'm using a 6.5 millimeter, which is what this recommends. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Hook Me Up Crochet. Hi, Lori. Yes, cozy, and thank you. Oops, my thing isn't going up. Hi, Christy. So, yeah, this is going to be super easy. And um, it's, it's pretty basic. What you do is you measure, like, whoever you're going to be making these slippers for. Like, let's just say you're making them for yourself. <gasps> Hi, Ursula. 1 a.m. You should be in bed. Oh, my gosh. Ursula, this is, thank you for being here. You know what? We're going to have to talk later about the yarnologist time. Then we might have to do it at a different time. But luckily, this isn't that meeting right now. That meeting is afterwards. Um, but anyway, we'll talk about that later. Okay. This is the yarn. And what you need to do, hi, Dark Sky, hi, Elizabeth. Get your hook, get your yarn, and chain to the length of your hood, foot plus a little longer on each side. 
And uh, since I have already made one for my foot, I'm going to make a smaller size. Um, like I'm going to make these for Emmy. So I'm going to make a little Emmy size foot just because I want to make sure that everybody gets the uh, basics of how you make it. And um, hi, Dolly Joy. Hi, Lori. Yeah, you can. Um, I never put like like hard bottoms, like, you know, the flip flops or whatever, just because I'm too lazy to do that. But if you want to, you can get some of that glue that you, you know, and put it on here, like the little dots, glue dots or whatever. Hi, Jess. Do, 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 do. Elizabeth made some purple velvet slippers for my daughter-in-law. So much fun. <sighs> okay. So you start out with your chain. And that's about how big I'm going to make it. I'll make it one stitch bigger because I'm going to um, be making like baby size. Blanket hello to all, all. I'm on my phone lurking. Ursula, that's okay. If you fall asleep, it's okay. We will understand. And you can watch us in the replay. And then you can text me or whatever. And I'll talk to you. Sonia, my left foot is two and a half sizes smaller than my right. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. Okay, Lori, T. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, so then, so you've got this. And remember how we did on the pumpkin? We, um, we slip stitched the first five rows. On this, since it's a it's a, going to be a smaller one, I'm going to slip stitch like the first. I'm going to slip stitch the first three three right here on an adult size. Maybe slip slip stitch the first five, and the reason for that is if you remember on the pumpkin, it uh, made it smaller so that when you you drew it all together, this is going to be the toe. It didn't have a big bunch of bulky extra and Jess you grab a bulky or a super bulky yarn or not a super bulky a, a five weight or a six weight yarn and whatever size hook the label says suggest Lori also Joanne fabric carry something for the bottom of the feet on the pajamas oh nice so yeah, it's pretty, and these are pretty flexible. Like with this one, I used a uh, one of those Sherpa yarns. And you can see it's just, this is about how big it is, but I've got big feet. And you guys, these are so soft and comfy. So soft and comfy. But these, I'm going to be making little baby size ones. So I can kind of crochet this quickly and show you guys how it's made. And I know, like, you won't be able to crochet, like, a whole slipper through the hour while we're talking. But at least you'll have this where you can rewind it if you need to and, and watch it. Okay. So then the rest of the thing, you know, however many stitches it is. Uh, good night, Alice. Have a good sleep. Just single crochet into the rest of the stitches. And like I said, I'm not counting stitches. I'm just going by um, the size of Emmy's foot. And this one, I went by the size of my foot. I made it, you know, inch, give or take a millimeter or two, bigger on the front, bigger on the back. And then, um, of course, you'll be seaming the back and drawing together the toe. So that's that's why you want to put that little bit of extra. Oh, Sonia, your hubby wants wants you to spend time with him. Well, that's okay. Husband's first, for sure. You guys have, or yes, you and your husband have a great time. Hi, Mark. Nice to meet you. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Seen you on YouTube before, mainly with Coco. I love Coco. Coco is wonderful. So, yeah, I'm happy to have you here. Thank you for coming. And 
start making your slippers with us too. This would be really cool. Enjoy your couple time. Yes. <laughs> and Yarn Fairy says, oh, welcome to the party, Mark. Yeah. We, uh, we crocheters know how to party, don't we? <laughs> Get your hot coffee. <laughs> Hi, Marlene. Welcome, welcome. Okay. So, like I said, if you're if you're crocheting this for a child, you know, the bigger the foot, of course, the more stitches you're going to have. Um, but make sure that it overlaps on the back and the front by about an inch or so. And um, then start crocheting. And for the first three stitches on mine, I slip stitch the first three. If you have, you know, you're going to have a bigger foot. So you might just want to slip stitch the first five. And that is going to be the toe of your, uh, of your slipper. Now, when you get to the end, so like right here, I have this first little part of the slip stitch. And, and the rest is single crochet. Yeah, she has a great sense of humor, for sure. <laughs> yes, let's huggy squish the thummies, please. <laughs> Thank you, Yarn Fairy. Hi, Pamela. Yes, yes, Mark, Jamie is another Canadian, for sure. Hi, Cabin Fever. That's okay. Here, I'll run you, I'll, I'll give you a quick recap of what we've done so far. And this is why I'm making a smaller one so I can kind of do this kind of stuff. Hi, Bonnie. Ooh, two plus yarns together. Now, what weight are they, Lori? I mean, because you can do whatever you want. Um, two plus, like two five weight or two. I mean, you could do that. That would be a nice, thick, squishy um slipper and then just use whatever hook you are comfortable with using with those two and because it's not slippers aren't a are super exact science but boy it's nice to just be able to whip out some fast slippers for your kids grandkids husband um oh plush yeah you could certainly do that and those would those would crochet up really really fast Jamie, unfortunately, Mark, I am until Ginger here drives the yarn car up north and <laughs> tops me. That's right. I'm just going to grab you and throw throw you in the George Meister in my trunk. <laughs> yeah, Lori, I think holding two plush yarns together would be great. Oh, whoa. All of the... Uh... Oh. Oh, how did you do that? That was magic. Wait a minute. What did I just do? Okay. I'm going, I, I'm not going to be able to read in the chat anymore while I'm telling you guys how to do this. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to get a bus and, and just throw all you, all of you Canadians, all of you Canucks that want to load up in the bus with me. We're going to drive back down to, I'm going to bring a busload of Canadians <laughs> over the border. <laughs> Oh, a pleasure to meet you too, Mark. <laughs> I love the stacking. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this is my, actually, this is my catastrophe of a yarn room right now. It's, it's nutso. Okay, so this is what I've got on little Emmy slippers so far. And then on this, you go back and you single crochet into every single crochet when you're going back down the other side. Remember how in the pumpkin we slip stitched at both ends? We're not doing that on the slipper. <laughs> and then uh, when you get down to those last three or five or however many slip stitches you have, just slip stitch into the, uh, the top of all of those slip stitches. Also, uh, do not just crochet in the back loop only. I mean, you can if you want to, but I mean, just crochet in both loops might make it a li little easier. 
Hi, Muses, Cronit Designs, Wanda. Hi, Wanda. Hold on. I'm going to put my hair in a ponytail because I'm getting hot. <laughs> this, this crochet is a workout. Yes, Mark, this is the room where the yarn avalanche occurred. <laughs> And um, I am in the process. One of my sons moved out because he is going to college and he has his own apartment. So I um, so I'm able to kind of split the room, split the yarn between two rooms. So right now it is a disaster. Well, hi, Olia. That is OK. You stay for however long you want to. Hi, Lauren. Okay, and then you just go up um, until, since people's feet are sized differently, <laughs> yeah, I had, you know what's funny, that was about a year ago, and I had myself another couple of yarn avalanches in this room the last couple of days, because I've been moving everything around, but that wall right there was completely completely covered with yarn all the way up to the ceiling and now it's not anymore oh. okay so um you know some people have skinny feet some people have wide feet some people have long feet you know you can't go exactly so since you've already had it measured out on your foot you know one inch a little bigger on on the heel and the toe Lori's says, Ginger, what was the name of the yarn you made your beige schleppers in? The ones you had on your feet. Oh, Lori, this is the um, Bernat. Was it Sheep, Sheepy? Bernat Sheepy? But I tell you, it feels exactly like the, um, the new Loops and Threads yarn that's at Michael's now. I th and it's $9.99. And I bet you could get two slippers out of out of one of those depending on how big your feet are um but i believe it was bernat sheepy but um the loops and threads the new one i think it's cozy sherpa <laughs> i know i can't have bald spots on my walls <laughs> avalanches of course can be much worse than yarn exactly at least you can breathe in a yarn avalanche and, uh, you know, if you can't see your way out, you can just crochet your way out. <laughs> Use the yarn as you go. Lacey, you can get, Lacey, where, now where do you live? If you're in the U.S., Michaels has some yarn that's just like this. And they're in, in the last video, um, I made both of the, there's two Michaels videos. One is the new loops and threads. They're both the last Michaels videos I made. Or the um, one that has the close-up with the big eyes on the on the thumbnail, um, it shows this yarn, and kind of you can get a close-up look of it. But there are so many pretty colors of that yarn. Okay, so then you just go back and you do your slip stitches, do your um, single crochets until you step right into the middle of that little slipper and you pull it around and it will wrap around your foot with some wiggle room. Lacey, I'm in the U.S. in Florida. I have not ever been to Michael's, believe it or not. I got hooked on hand-dyed shortly after I started crocheting. Oh, no! Well, this... You, you just got to go to Michael's and get it. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but, you, you know. They are super duper comfy, and you can make them with any kind of yarn. Um, and like I said, I just love this this little uh, way of making slippers. I wouldn't I wouldn't call it a pattern because there really is no pattern for it. It's just... Uh, something that you can intuitively know know to whip up for your kids grandkids husbands wives Jean, I, hi i was busy binge watching your back episodes and ignoring my notifications 
and missed a few. That's okay. Ooh, waded a river of yarn. That sounds like fun. Ursula, you're still awake. I am so happy. Um, freestyling, that's right. We're freestyling these slippers. I mean, there is a method to them. So, uh, you know, you kind of have a blueprint. But these are a little Emmy size. And right now what I'm doing, I'm just going back and forth, doing the slip stitches into the slip stitches and the single crochets into the single crochets. Um, what, let me, let me catch everybody up on what's going on in case you want to hop in right now and start. Very simple. Get your foot, get your yarn. It doesn't matter what yarn. I, I used a six weight, five or six weight would be wonderful, but you can use any weight of yarn. I just like the five or six weight because it crochets up so fast and it's so snuggly and comfy. And then um, crochet a chain that is as long as your foot with maybe an inch or so left over at both ends, like an inch or so longer than your foot. And then if you're making it for a little one, for the toe area, because you're going to be gathering this, I do slip stitches in the first, this is for my little grandbaby. So I'm slip stitching it the first three stitches. Like mine, my adult size, I slip stitched it, um, I slip stitched it five with this six weight. Basically it's about, you want to slip stitch the first about inch and a half, you know, if you're an adult. Just, you know, it's kind of like you got to use your judgment on that area. But a good rule of thumb would be, in be for an adult in between five and seven, depending on your size of yarn. And um, then if you watched the pumpkin where we made the pumpkins last week, that's kind of the same principle. We're slip stitching here and then the rest of the way down were single crocheting. Vicky, oh, not cabin fever crochet no more. <laughs> no more. I wondered what you were doing. I recognized you. Okay. So do do do. Oh, well, thank you, Lori. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Jess, I'm making mine with two strands of worsted in Packer colors. Super awesome. Yeah, that's perfect. I want to make a pair of uh, crimson and blue KU colors. That has given me a wonderful idea. In fact, you remember a long time ago, um, I, don't, I don't think they still make them, but Lion Brad had those hometown colors that were like the school mascot colors they actually had a color that was called jayhawk and it was blue and red and i made a bunch of hats and scarves and everything out of that awesome yarn hi beth <laughs> mark yay packers and these are little these are little tiny slippers so they're, uh, they're not taking very long to make, but this is what your slipper should be looking like. If you're, if you're making a bigger one, it's just going to have, you know, it's just going to be bigger. <laughs> hey, Bronx girl. Jess, I'm using the MVP worsted from Hirschner's. Ooh, nice. Hi, Jean. Yay! So, how's everybody's slippers doing so far? You know what? If you're <laughs> if you're right in the middle of crocheting, I feel bad for asking you because I don't want to. I don't want you to take your hands away. Ah, oh, thank you for everybody who didn't see. I'll show you what my slipper, what these slippers should look like, and I only crocheted one. And these are like the fluffy Sherpa fur, but they look like this. 
they're they're not a huge you know like a huge shapely slipper but they sure are comfy and this is what they look like from this side they're just a basic shell of a slipper Thank you, Jean. A literary artist. I like that, Mark. Yes, all art forms are wonderful. I think of yarnscaping as an art form. <laughs> Thank you, Bronx Girl. That The yarn I used on that was um, Bernat Sheepy that I got, I think it was last year. And then... Um, but there are other companies that make yarn like that. Like Loops and Threads has a yarn, a new yarn, just like that, that they came out with. Oh, Deiru, awesome. You can make those slippers. Hi, Anita. They would be great in the bean stitch. Yeah, they, they really, see, you can use any stitch you want to. Oh, Vicky, I don't have a birthday on the 23rd of this month. But I wish I did so I could get some birthday presents. <laughs> Maybe somebody else does. 23rd of September. Oh, yarnscaping, Mark, is just... Uh, actually, I heard the term first used by Krista from the Secret Yarnery when she was... Um, displaying all of her yarn how like how she was going to display it in her shelves and she rainbowed hers and it looks really pretty so that's i'm 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 kind of copying her with my but but it's a little different because i also have an autumn rainbow wall ah uh, thank you ursula lacy i think of hand dyed yarn like an art it, it is it is for for sure yeah, and because you never know what kind of uh, design you're going to come out with when you when you uh, do it that way. Hi, Lisa. Yarn Fairy Lacey, I've yet to use hand-dyed yarn. Oh, you need to use hand-dyed yarn. You would love it. <laughs> it's not me. September 23rd. Who is September 23rd? Mark. Mark's birthday is coming up in October. Happy early birthday, Mark. Hi, Crafty Heart. Hello, hello. Hi, Sharice. Lacey, no way, sweet yarn fairy. Just get some to make a scarf or cowl with. Then you won't feel, that's right. You won't feel pressured, exactly. To find the perfect pattern. But you know, it kind of would be my, my half year birthday. Doesn't the Queen of England celebrate her birthday two times a year? Isn't there like a half birthday for the Queen of England? I think we should adopt that for all of us too. <laughs> That's my opinion. Like, my opinion matters. <laughs> My birthday is April 29th, Vicky. I am a Taurus, the bull. I'm a bull. Vicky, when's your birthday? Ooh, Norma had a good yarn shopping day. Jessica, Crochet Creations by Jessica. Her birthday is the 22nd of this month. Mark, oh, your half birthday is April 9th, of course. <laughs> We're pretty close there on the halves and the holes. And Miss Jamie, your birthday's this month. Let me let me see if I can remember. Miss Jamie, yours is the 15th. I hope I'm my second guess was the 13th. <laughs> Crafty Heart. Well, I'm happy you caught us too. But it's yeah, but a skein of yarn to make a cowl or a shawl for sure. Lacey, Yarn Fairy. Oops, let me go down. Oh, shoot. Aw, oh, shucks. Lacey says, Yarn Fairy, here's a good little tidbit to get you going. Buy one of the beautiful super 
painted super variegated skeins that you love and make a simple granny stitch scarf. It looks like Skittles. That sounds awesome. Hall Halloween. It's not quite half a birthday. Her birthday is in January, so she has a birthday in June because it's nicer weather. That That is a good idea. I've heard of people doing that. Do yarn fairy. Whoops. All of my yarns require the perfect pattern. Probably why Ginger and I are in friendly competition for she who has the largest home yarn shop. <laughs> it sounds like yours is bigger than mine. <laughs> The 15 years, yes. <laughs> oh, well, Deiru, I love this. There's there's a bull and then there's a pile of poo. Is that like bull? <laughs> Vicky, mine's in December, the 19th. All right. Well, your birthday's coming up in a couple of months. Marion, I'm September 22nd, too. Sharice, oh no, I'm late. Nope, you have not missed too much. Jamie, the 15th. Nope, the 15th. Wait a minute. Ah! The 15th day. Oh, my slippers turned into a gourd. <laughs> okay, Sharice, you're not too late. Let me walk you through. Because what I'm doing is I'm just crocheting a little slipper right now. So I can show you guys how to make it. I made a slipper for me. This is my slipper. It's just kind of like a big, you know, a big comfy sack for your feet. <laughs> it's a it's a toe sack. Lacey, I knew it. I used to be the same way. Saved all my good yarn for the perfect pattern and only worked with yarn that didn't bring me joy. Yeah, you've got to work with the yarn that brings you joy. Aw, Jesus, St. Patrick's baby. Hi, Denine. Hello, hello. Yarn fairy. I think we're close, Ginger. I've already crocheted over 25 miles of yarn since January 1st. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't keep tra kept track of mine. There's no way. <laughs> Let's just say, okay. Last year, somebody kept track of my yarn yardage that I had used. And there was like 300,000 yards of yarn that I had used by August. So I don't know how that much is. <laughs> I don't know. So if we could if we could apply that to this year, maybe we'll know. Oh, Ursula, thank you. Oh my gosh, sweetie, you didn't need to do that, but awesome. Thank you so much. Hi, Ma Marie Miller. Welcome. Welcome, welcome to the Yarnologist Members Club. <laughs> this is so Doing the memberships is so much fun, you guys. I'm really having fun with it. Jess, I'm just weighing my finished job to fix. That's a good, that's a good way to measure it too. Oh, yarn fairy. Yes. Send me a project spreadsheet. That would be so great. Sharice, for these slippers, I used Bernat Sheepy that they had. I don't know if they still make it, but I use I used it from a couple of years ago that I got um, loops and threads also has a new yarn called um, I think it's cozy Sherpa and it makes um, it, it, it's just like this. So for those of you who are in and just catching up, let me tell you how I'm making this. This is a baby size, but basically because a lot of things I make, I don't use a pattern. I just make it. So you just get your foot and you grab your yarn and crochet hook, whatever size you, you want to use. I use a six on this one, a five on this one. And then I use whatever size hook is on the label for it. Then you hold, you crochet a chain, the length of your foot. And crochet it a, a little longer, though, maybe an inch longer in the front, an inch longer in the back. And then uh, for the first couple 
of chains. If you're making it for a little person, I, I did three slip stitches. If you're making it for like a, an adult, maybe slip stitch in between five and seven. You just, you just, it basically what this is going to be is I just want to make the, the material of the scarf smaller towards the toe. So when you fold it over and draw it up, there's not a big bunch of bulk there at the end. So then you just um, crochet back and forth, slip stitching into the slip stitches and single crocheting into the single crochets until you have a piece that is long enough to wrap around your foot. Vicki, a thought. I was in the gift shop of our hospital. They were selling handmade tiny booties and hats. <gasps> they may be buying them locally for the shop. Vicki, you should go check. For sure. I should. I know they also. Um, like a lot of hospitals will take donation like baby blanket donations and stuff like that I don't I know they were before COVID after COVID I think a lot of hospitals weren't doing that but they might be doing it again I need to I need to make a bunch of baby blankets and take them to the hospital but I'll tell them listen if I'm bringing baby blankets in here I want to hold those babies <laughs> then they might say get out of here freak <laughs> that was like you had us a baby blankets until all that holding stuff. <laughs> yeah, that is a really good idea, Vicki. So I am, I don't have little Emmy here to measure her foot, but I'm just going to guess. Deiru, oh, yes. And you know what, Deiru? I went to check mine. And they didn't have the Karen anniversary cakes there. I, they didn't have any of the new Karen cakes there today. I was upset because the people there, when I went to check on last Thursday, said they would probably be in by Monday. And they had the new loops and threads, but they did not have the new Michael's Karen cakes, which I was really sad about. <sighs> Traumatized. What's everybody drinking? Oh, yes, three amazing hats. And Ida, I started the year keeping ball bands. Yeah, but you got to keep them up because there are too many sometimes. Jeff Ginger, do you sit cross feet on the floor? If so, do you get a little stiff? <laughs> I do. I do, and recently got a pain in the hip from it. Yeah, I get pains in the knees from it. It's like for a while I walk like, like an you know, like I'm um, an, an old guy with a cane. <laughs> the new Echo smells, Eco yarn smell. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Amy. Yeah, Jess, I get stiff sitting on the floor. Amy is lurking while making dinner. Ooh, what you making for dinner, Amy? <gasps> I sound like a robot. It's doing it now. I got two of the cakes for $5. Oh. <gasps> Oh, my audio is cutting in and out. Is it still doing it? Mark, for any of you that might be interested, my one book still on the market, Poetic Potpourri, is available on Amazon. Ooh, that's neat. Um, can you I can you put your link in here? I know it won't be a clickable link, but then maybe if somebody wants to screenshot it and go take a look at it. Uh, I can't do that right now because I'm on the on the things and I it won't let me. <laughs> so stiff. Oh, it's better. Okay, okay. Ooh, spaghetti and meatballs. That sounds good. Because I was like, oh my gosh, I did the thing that I thought would fix it. So <laughs> good. Okay, I'm almost finished, so I can show you guys how to uh, how I stitch up 
these things. I'm, I don't, in the moving this stuff around, I have lost track of all of my scissors and all of my needles. Do you want to see, actually see what I'm cutting my stuff with right now? Woo, Lori just got here after cleaning up the dinner dishes, working on a whip. All right. Well, Lori, I am super duper glad you're here. You want to see what I'm cutting my yarn with because I lost all my scissors? I'm using a knife. It works. I can't even find any, any fingernail clippers to clip the yarn with. Hobie's fall sale starts today. Oh, I just saw a good Mary Maxim yarn sale too. I think it was Mary Maxim. <laughs> All right. Yeah, those are those are big enough for Emmy's little feet. And you know what you can do? There's all sorts of things that you can do to like if you get this and you're like, "Oh my gosh. I have crocheted this too short. I need it like this much longer." It's a really easy fix. All you got to do is turn it over. And crochet rows across here until it's long enough. <laughs> but, you know, that's these are really simple, really basic. So I'm going to, nope, you know what? I've got enough rows to just finish this up like it's a little, like it's a little slipper. Amy, roasted chicken in the Instapot while baking potatoes and onions and green beans. Ooh, that sounds so good. Autumn officially starts on September 23rd this year. We are almost there. I am so glad because I can't stand summer. I'm thumb number 60. What number are you? Oh, thumb number 60? I'm not sure what that means. But if you would explain it to me, I would appreciate it. Hi, Mama Susu. Yes, we are doing some, some easy slippers. And these are little baby slippers. That's why they're so small. And um, these are the adult size slippers. But you can watch the replay. And these are super duper easy to make. And you don't have to make them out of this yarn. You can make them out of any yarn. Um. But I am going to show you on a mini size what I do. I just cut this. I cut it, you know, about a foot and a half long or however long you need it to pull pull through here to, to draw it together. And then to sew up, when I seam it up the top here, I just seam it halfway. Like number 60? I'm not sure. I'm confused, which isn't which isn't a huge stretch of the imagination. Mark, I'll try my link again. Oops. Oh no. Hi, Ed. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Ed. Okay, so I cut my yarn, and I just tie off right there. So then this is what you have left. And then you pull this together, and you just, you can either do a needle or grab a hook. Since I can't find my needles, I'm just using the hook to uh, weave back in and forth so I can just draw it together. You know, kind of like you would the top of a hat or something. Aw, uh, thank you, Lori. If you haven't yet, smash that like button. Share, subscribe, ring that bell. Thank you so much, Lori. Oh, thumbs up, number 60. I was thinking of like a size 60 thumb. Yes, I am channeling yarn, Dracula. And instead of things right here, they are like knitting needles. Yeah, Lori Kim is feeling better. Thank you for asking. Yeah, she's feeling better. She will be here tomorrow morning. Oh, 
Hi, Kathy. 95 watching, but only 64. Oh, that's what you mean. My thumb made it 60. Okay, I was thinking like some, there was something, oh my God, that I didn't know about. Vicki, I'm sorry. I'm such a dingbat. Well, you know, not in a derogatory way. I think dingbats are wonderful and I am the biggest one. Oh, okay. I'm trying to, I just kind of messed this up, but that's okay. Hold on. I've got to pull this through. That's one bad thing about pulling it through with this instead of uh, using a needle is it kind of it's like sometimes can split. Some, sometimes the simple is, yeah, unfortunately, a lot of times they do that, that, that uh, start that, that is me. Yes, Vicki, it starts at eight in the morning. Um, the Affordably Geeky Live starts at eight in the morning. Central time. Okay, so now I'm going to draw this together. Oops. Oh, oh, oh. There, I think it did it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, draw that little toe together like it's the top of the hat, like that. Don't worry about it looking weird. We we will change that. Mark, Edith Bunker was a funny dingbat on All in the Family. Archie! <laughs> yeah. Archie! Eat it. Yeah, she's, I think she's, she's all right. She's doing a lot better. Ooh, Evelyn, that sounds so good. Okay, then after you get that toe drawn, drawn together, you just pull this part tight and tie it off, you know, just, Tie it off, but keep this tail on because you're going to um, seam the top half of this together with, with the remaining tail. And you just seam up the top while you still have it turned inside out. Oh, Jess, almost ready to seam it up. All right. And also, I wanted to remind you, anybody, okay, this, this is the deal, okay? Throughout the month of September, I was thinking hard about this. Throughout the month of September, I am going to leave the Yarnologist and the Yarnaholics group, since this is the very first month open to everybody and then when October comes all of the memberships are going to go back to members only but I want to leave these open while I'm I'm getting them uh, you know while we're doing these just so everybody can kind of see what it would be like because you don't really want to you know, you know, just to see, just to, and plus, like, Yarn Fairy and I were talking the other night, okay, it was me and Yarn Fairy in the Yarnaholics, and we wanted more people. <laughs> so, right after this live, we're going to have a Yarnologist meeting, and I think maybe we should call it a Yarnology class. What do you think? I think that would be fun. Well, Mark, no, no pressure at all. No pressure whatsoever. The, the membership super duper helps support the channel. Plus, you know, there's, there's perks given, um, 
you know, kind of, you know what it was making me think of? Um, do you guys remember like once a year, maybe twice a year when, when we were kids or whatever, PBS would hold one of those telephone fundraisers for the, uh, <laughs> for the public, um, for the public broadcasting station. And it would, they would like send t-shirts or whatever. It's kind of one of those things. Plus it's lots of fun. Okay. So once you get this done, see what I did was I, I drew the toe together. I stitched the top half of the slipper together, just the top half. And then while it still turned inside out, I'm going to stitch the heel together. And you just do straight, uh, just a straight seam right there. Super duper easy. Aw, Mark. Thank you. Ursula. Ursula, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, text you and let's we'll figure out a good a good yarnaholic time for our yarnaholic meetings because we cannot do them while you are asleep <laughs> for sure we will we'll also we'll all get together as a group and figure out what a good time would be for everyone Lori, it's like when you sign up for AARP and they send you the tote bag. <laughs> yeah, or like you said, when you'd sign up for bank accounts, they'd give you a toaster or something. Okay, so I've got everything seamed up. Nothing is woven in, of course. And it looks like this. It's just, you know, this is hanging off, but we're going to use this. Remember, I told you not to cut this. This is what we did the little circle at the end and seamed this up. And now we've taken another piece of yarn and seamed that up. We'll weave the ends in lately. <gasps> A tote bag of yarn. <laughs> that would be so great. A tote bag full of yarn. Yeah, right. I know. My bag didn't, my bank didn't give anything. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you turn it inside out. You've got a little slipper that looks like this or a big slipper. Of course, the big slippers will, you know, be bigger. But then what you do is around the top here, you just crochet one round of single crochets all the way around. And I'm going to have to tie this on so I have a little extra. So I don't have quite enough yarn to do that with. Mark, I'm going to go back and look for your link as as soon as um as soon as I can tonight. Or as soon as this gets loaded up. Go ahead and put it in again, and then anybody can screenshot that link. And also, if it's if you do it again, everybody will know it's it's towards the end. So awesome! Hi, Vicky. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, you have to be a mod to post clickable links, but you can still put your link in there even if it's not clickable. And, uh, you know, we can screenshot it and look it up. Okay, so then you just crochet a single round all the way around. And I always think of these little slippers like... Uh, just super easy. If you have a crochet hook and yarn, you can make somebody something that will keep their feet warm. Kathy, in the 60s and 70s, my aunties kept opening up small accounts to make sure my sister and I had tons of can openers and crock pots for our hopeless chest. <laughs> that is wonderful. Okay. 
Aw, thank you, Olia. Yeah, this is one of those things where if you don't have anything, you don't have a pattern with you or whatever, but you have yarn and a hook, you can make it. Okay, I might have made a should have made this a little longer, but that's okay. It'll, I think it'll still fit her. If not, I'll just undo it and make another one. But it would definitely fit some baby. Aw, thank you, Rose. Okay, so here is a little tiny baby slipper that I just made with those easy, simple instructions I just told you. It's kind of weird looking because it's little, but you get the gist of it. Oops, maybe I should have, I need to draw that a little, a little closer or a little tighter, but that's what it looks like, little baby feet. And then when you do big adult feet, it looks like that. And then, oh, the cool thing about it too, then you can also crochet more rounds up here if you want to, to make it uh, like longer, and, you know, if you wanna make it longer, you can do it. When I make it longer, what I what I do is I only crochet about the top, not quite halfway, just so it gives it some bending room. Yeah, a couple of row fleece yarn at the top and cream. That's what I was thinking. I've got some of that fur yarn, the faux fur yarn. I think about doing it in in cream or white up here for a couple of rows. So there you go. You got, and if you guys have any questions at all, just DM me on Instagram or um, comment in the comments below if you have any questions about this that I can answer. And I would love to. I'll either answer them on a live or in the comments, whichever whichever one works out. Probably in both. Hi, Kristen. All right. Okay, you guys, I am going to head out now and get ready for the second live of the evening. Oh, thank you, Mama Susu. And once again, it's a yarnologist meeting, but for the month of September, anybody who wants to come be a part of it can come be a part of it. The, the membership meetings are open for all of September and then in October, they're all going members only. So everybody's invited. And I will see anybody who decides to come in just a couple of minutes. And thank you guys so much for coming and for I want to see pictures of your slippers um, in Instagram and Facebook, the Facebook group. Uh, Yarn Geeks Facebook group. There's a link for it down below. And uh, how do I get the gumption for the second? <laughs> well, it's like this, Jamie. You make the one slipper and then you can make the other one in another color because that's what I do. I don't make matching slippers. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Thank you so much. Okay, you guys. Have a wonderful night, and thank you so much for coming, and for everybody that, that watches this in the replay. I love you guys. Bye.